Okay, I'm going to try and make this as uh, easy to figure out as I possibly can for everybody. Uh, this is one of my, let's see, let me, let me switch accounts. This is one of my, uh, this is one of my Google accounts. So if you do not have a Google email address, I would highly suggest setting one up just to have this account okay so because what this is this is super awesome storage space uh you get now now this is a uh google suite account so i get 30 gigabytes but you get 15 gigabytes of storage for free just by having a google email address Okay, so when you get your Google email address, you'll notice up here in the right hand corner, you see it up here in the upper right hand corner, you'll have your little icon that's you and then you'll have that box with all these different Google apps. I am a huge advocate of Google. So when you look in there, when you open it, there's things such as Google Drive, your Gmail, uh, all about your account, doc sheets and slides, you will want those. There's some other things you will want, your Google Calendar. Uh, you will not have Google Meet because that comes with the suite, but your G+, all that stuff, your Google Contacts, you can store all your uh your contacts instead of storing them in your phone and having to worry about how you're going to change from phone to phone with your contacts you just store your google contacts your contacts in google and then every time that you change phones your contacts change with you as soon as you log into your google account now obviously there's a bunch more and we're not going to get into it there's just all kinds of of different things that Google offers for free and we will be going over those uh, at some point we'll, we're, we'll be teaching all that so your Google Drive is this icon right here you will want to have Docs and Sheets if you don't but Google Drive so when you open that it's going to take you into an account and it's going to look just like the page that we had a second ago except yours won't have all this stuff okay because i'm already using my files okay i'm already using the account and you can see there's a lot of stuff you can put in here each one of these files has tons and tons and tons and tons of stuff okay so uh let's go in and look what i'm sharing with you at the moment so we will go into tarina's account i shared this now I shared this with her. So when you go into your Google Drive, look what's shared with me and whatever is in there, all this good stuff has been shared with this account. So what does that mean? It means you have access to whatever has been shared to you and depending on who shared it with you and the settings that they allowed you, if they gave you editor settings or if they only gave you viewing settings or if they've blocked you, it all depends. But that's the amount of access that you will have to it. So if you wanted to move this to your drive, you could, whatever this is. So this is the master sheet that I'm using to create the spreadsheets for everybody to use in uh, my property locator program. Okay, so if you want to move that, you grab it. You can hover over your drive and all the files that you have that are in your drive, you can put it directly into it. So I would go to the bird dog file, which was my property locators, and I would put it in there wherever it fits. Okay, and, and this is a little more advanced, so I'll show you that at a later date. But you can move it over there. You can easily take it from here and, and just put it in your drive. And then once it's in your drive, you know, you can move it into whatever file you want. So let me go back in here. Okay, and we're working on Tarina's. So Tarina's would be here. She's already putting in a ton of addresses, which is awesome. Okay, so Tarina's really getting to work. Okay, and she can make notes out here, add her phone numbers, whatever. Now, what's good about this is you see that she's doing it on her own at her leisure wherever she is. Okay, I get it here in real time to where we don't have to send things back and forth 
by email and all this other ridiculous stuff. Okay, so that's pretty easy. Now, let's let's back out of that. Now, one good thing about this is Tarina asked me about what do I do with the pictures? Do I just text them to you? Well, absolutely not. What I want you to do is create another folder. Okay, create. There's the folder. You can give the folder a name by right-clicking on the folder, and this changed the name of it. And then you can say that uh, this is property photos. Okay. So there it is. Now, she has several addresses here that she's come up with. So this 8010 Beaver Circle. Okay, so there's one right there that she's come up with. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here. I should leave that open. I don't know why I keep closing it. But we're going to go into the property file, and we will create a file or folder, sorry. And we will call this 8010 Beaver Circle. Okay, create. So that is inside her folder, her file, okay, with her other stuff. And then you can go in here, and then she can create a folder for pictures of each and every property, and they will be shared with me. And she can send them to me, and we don't have to worry about emailing them. We don't have to worry about texting them. We don't have to worry about anything. So how in the world do you get them there? So whether it's in your phone or you're downloading it into your computer, it doesn't matter. You can go to the shared setting and, uh, and send them. So I'm going to reduce the size of this screen, and I'm going to show you something else. This is super fantastic. Okay, so this is the files that are inside your computer. Okay, if you want to move something over here, whatever the case might be, let's just go to uh, let's go to videos. Okay, if I wanted to take these videos out of here and move them over here, or pictures, whatever, or files, you can move an entire file directly into your Google Drive and share it with somebody. You don't have to email it. You don't have to send it. You don't have to do anything. You have control over it. Okay, so I can put that, or I can put it right into there. Or let's let me show you something. <clears throat> Say you have this open, and you wanted it to go into one of these files, something else that you have inside your drive. You could take that actual video and put it anywhere over here that you wanted to. Anything that you wanted to see the advisors folder has these different people the uh, This tower road has different documents the different things that are in there And I can share that video into any one of these files in my cloud storage Does that make sense? I hope it does if not uh, send me some questions Okay, so let's blow this back up. All right so now how do I share this with somebody else? Well, it's real simple. You will right click on the file or document or picture or whatever it is. And you're going to go here. Now you can sh give them a link. And what that's going to do, you put link sharing on and you copy that link. Okay, right click, copy the link. Well, I'm sorry, it's already copied. And then you can put it in an email, you can put it in a text message, you can put it wherever, and people can get access to it, okay? Or you can right-click and you can give them permanent access. And what's good about the permanent access, you would just type in their email address right here, and you'd figure out if you wanted them to be able to edit the files directly or only view the files. They can't edit, but they can see it. See what I'm saying? That's pretty cool, huh? And then you would press done. All right. And then they would get an invitation to view or edit the files. That simple. Okay. If you have any more questions about this, please feel free to ask and I will try to make another video. This is really simple stuff once you get your hands dirty with it and uh, you will really like it. It'll make your life a lot easier. So I hope that helped and away we go.